Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Today, actually today is going to be a good one because today is for our men. <laughs> today, we're going to discuss the things that women hate for men to do or ask us to do very on before or after meeting. And the reason why I'm saying before is because sometimes we do online dating. So with that being said, online dating or you might be meeting through a friend as well. So you guys haven't physically met yet. But anyway, these are the top five things that we absolutely hate as women. Stop doing them. So fellas, why do you guys do these few things? <laughs> Stop doing them, as I mentioned before. The very first thing that we women completely hate, completely are turned off with you guys doing, you sending us dick pics. Why are you doing that? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with that dick pic, number one. Number one, I'm going to send it to all my friends because I don't know you. I don't need to uh, hide away your personal parts. You not. I don't know you. I haven't been with you. So there's nothing that I need to hold out for. So I'm going to send it to my friends. Or if they're in the room with me, we all going to look at it. Have a laugh. But you're not going to hear back from me no more. We know that sex is a part of a relationship. But we haven't even talked. We haven't even met. And if we have, little dude. If you're sending me dick pics right off, that is absolutely letting me know as a relationship-minded woman that you are looking to bone. Now, am I oblivious to the fact that sex is a part of a relationship or women in general? No, we're not. But I don't want your little ugly penis on my phone, especially before I have made a connection with you, okay? Let me move on because I, I be mad when that happens. Now, again, I'm going to look at that thing. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Your dick pic gets looked at. But you won't hear from me no more. If it's a good one, what I deem is good, it might even be saved. But you still won't hear from me no more. Okay? Number two. Quit asking for more pictures. Why? I get it. Especially if you met online. I get that people catfish people. I get it. But I don't. I know you don't know me, but if I got five pictures online, don't ask me for no more when we start texting or talking on the phone. You ain't getting no more. We hate that. Stop asking for pictures. I don't know you. Also, another reason why I personally, but also I hear women talk about this too, don't send you no more pictures because... It's a reality that you might not be around in my life after a few days or even a few weeks. I don't need for you to have my picture. I just don't. For you to go scrolling through, now you got you get all these women's pictures. I don't want to be a part of your uh, slideshow. I don't want to be a part of that. So no, you're not getting no more pictures. If you happen to steal it offline, because people do that, then that's your picture of me. But you're not getting none from me. So stop asking for pictures. If she don't just send it to you, don't ask. Because trust me, if it blossoms into something, you're going to have pictures of her. You don't need none right now. Okay? Third thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Th this one just burns me up. <laughs> if you are not actually looking for a relationship... Then I get that. That's fine. Then that's something that you should say. But a lot of you men are not even saying that. And I'm bringing that up because of this third reason. Stop asking the women to come to your come to your spot. Okay, specifically, let's talk about online dating. Online dating, y'all talking, y'all chatting, whatever. And then you get off of online and then you start to text or even talk on the phone. And... Instead of you trying to take me out or even think about the woman's safety. Oh, well, just come kick it over here. Come chill over here. Come to my spot. Loser. That's what you come off as. Loser. Number two, if you are a rapist or a murderer, you're not going to tell me that over the phone. So why am I going to put myself in, in dangerous situation? 
It's not even about the whole sex factor. Because grown people know if they want to have sex or not. I get that. So, so let's just move that out of the way. Let's move sex over here. If I don't know you, we have not built a rapport. You have not made me comfortable enough to be like, oh, come hang out over here. Why in the hell would I do that? Why? Stop asking. Turn off. And again, loser. Just saying. Just saying. The fourth thing. Another super turn off, super thing that women hate. Why you want to tell me about all the sexual things that you want to do to me? Come here, man. Come here. You are not the first man to tell that particular woman what it is that you want to do to her. Now, that's number one. Number two, if I'm looking for more than just parting the seas for you, sex is somewhere back here. Now, don't get it twisted. When I meet you in person, I and other women already know if you're going to get it or not. But when you start talking about it, guess what you do? You talk yourself out of getting it. If you don't know that, men, know it now. You will talk yourself out of getting it. Even if I felt like, oh, dang, I want to do it. Keep it together. Keep your mouth shut. We don't care what you want to do with us. It actually is a turn off and we hate it. Now, I listen to you, but I'm, all, I'm listening to you, but it's going in here and out here. In here and out here because I'm already thinking you ain't going to never hear from me again. I don't care what you want to do to me. I don't even know you. Boof thought. The very last thing that we super, 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 super hate is the only thing that you want to do is talk or text on the phone, but you never want to meet in person. Dude, move on with life. Why are you doing that? Why are you wasting my time and energy? I don't have a lot of time or energy to waste on you. None of us have the time or energy to just be wasting on somebody that don't want nothing. Because just think about this. Most of us are out here doing the dating thing because we're looking for something. We're looking for our partner. We're, look, we're looking for our the one. So now if you just want to talk and hit buttons on the phone and never talk about meeting in person, lose my number. Lose my number. Just move on with life. It's, it makes it easier. That way, the attitude that you might hear me have today you don't even have to worry about have, um, having to hear it later on. Because it's going to come out. Because guess what? I get annoyed real quick. Because my time is precious. I'm a busy person. I got things to do in life. So if I'm giving you my time and attention, whether it's via text or talking on the phone, I'm not just looking to just do that. Please understand that. And most women are not. Men, please take this in. Please apply these things to your life. We women hate these top five things that you do. Don't do them. Stop doing them. Not sexy, not attractive. It only shifts the woman way over here. You here, but every time you talk, every time you do one of these five things, this is where we going. Or way over here. And then you wondering why. I wonder what happened. Not sexy. Um, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and answer this question on my Facebook fan page. So if you're not following me, information is in the description box below. Women, what do you hate that men do or ask you to do when you first meet with them? And I will make sure I have the question up on my Facebook fan page. Go ahead and put that in there because it could be something that I didn't even mention. We men. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Y'all men need to hear what it is. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to hit the red subscribe button right here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Two finger salute.